Hello everyone, I am Arshan from Global Techs. Today, in this video, I am gonna give you a demonstration on Odusola Connector application from Global Techs. Application has already been installed. You can see the application over here. Access token. Let's get into the application. Go to Core Settings, then Instance. Create a new instance. Let's get the details from the last dashboard. First, let's copy the client ID and paste it over here. Okay, now we'll get the client secret key and then we'll paste the same over here. After that, we'll get the callback URL. Here you see the callback URL and paste the same thing over here. Now let's select. Okay, first before that, let's give an instance name. So the instance one, anything you can give. After that, let's select the stock location. Let's say WH stock and then click on get token. It will lead you to a Salas account page. Now you can give the email ID of any of the stores that you have created and after that give the password obviously and then click on sign in now you would need to authorize the application here you can authorize the application once that is done you will get all the API token details in your Udo here you can see the access token the token type access token the original token gets expired in 14 days so we would just need to click on refresh token and get a new token okay obviously the token isn't expired yet. store details after clicking on get store details you would get all the information of the store here you can see in the smart button here you can see all the details import customer groups let's go to customer groups here you can see there are no customer groups as of now now we'll go to the instance and then click on import customer groups. Now all the customer groups from Salla will be imported to Udo. Just have to refresh the page. Import customers. Let's go to the customers. Here you can see there are no customers as of now. Now we'll go to the instance and then click on import customers. Now all the customers from Salla will be imported to Udo. You have to wait for a few seconds and then we will refresh the page. Brands. Let's first see the brands in Udo. There are no brands as of now. Now let's click on import brands button. Now after a few seconds, you will get all the brands from Salla to Udo. Import categories. Let's first see the categories in Udo. There are no categories as of now. Click on import categories button. After a few seconds, you will get all the categories from Salla to Udo. Import products. Let's first see the products and the variants in Udo. There are no products and the variants as of now. Click on import products. After a few minutes, all the products from Salla will be imported to Udo. Order statuses and orders. Let's first see the order statuses in Odoo. Here you can see there are no order statuses as of now. You can click on import order statuses and all the order statuses from Salla will be imported to Odoo. After this, we will see the orders and here you can see there are no orders. Let's click on the import orders button. So the orders that are present in Salla will be imported to Odoo. You can also use the date filter. Update customer groups. We'll update the customer group heads. Let's change the name of heads to top G. Okay. So after this, we'll just click on to be updated and then click on the update customer group button. After a few seconds, we can see the updated customer group name. Just refresh the page in Sanda and then here you can see top G. Customers. Let's update the customer John Vic to John Cena. Let's go to customers. Let's search for John. Now let's update the name John Vic to John Cena. We also update the last name. Okay, over here. And then click on to be updated. And then click on the update customer button. After a few seconds, you can see the customer name has been updated. Here you can see. Update category. Let's update the category name edge display to curve display. 
let's uh, update the name curve display and then click on to be updated and then click on the update category button now we'll go to Sulla and refresh the page and see here you can see the name has been updated let's update the product double cheeseburger to cheeseburger let's go to products and then update the name double cheeseburger to cheeseburger so after this as usual you will click on to be updated and then click on update product now we will go to Salah and search for double there, there will be no results now search for cheese you will get the updated product export customer groups let's go to Udu and create a new customer group let's say new um, customer group okay now select the instance and then click on export customer group now go to Salah and refresh the page you can see the new customer group let's create a customer name Jason here you can see there is no customer in Salah as of now we'll go to Udu and then we'll create the new customer with the name Jason let's click on new uh, write the name Jason Statham now copy the same thing as first name and last name because it's a compulsory field in Salah and after that let's select the country as India and now give a mobile number let's say um, 9757213203 and then now let's say email as jason.statum at the rate gmail.com now uh, select the instance from Salda information page and after that click on export customer now after a few seconds in Salah you can see that the customer with name Jason Startup has been exported from Udu export category let's create categories uh, sweet and sour let's first see them uh, in Udu in Salah here you can see there are no categories sweet and sour as of now let's create them let's first create sweet let's take the parent category as let's say fruits raw and then select the instance okay and click on save after that let's create a category sour take the same uh, brand category fruits raw and then click uh, sorry select the instance and then click on save okay now we'll go to the instance and then we'll click on export categories here we have done this because we have to export multiple categories at a time you can do the same thing for others here just go to category section again here you can go to category section and just switch the language you can see sour and sweet has been exported from Udu export products let's create a product both airports as you can see there are no products as of now for this now name now let's go to products in Udu click on new create a new product called boat airports and after this select the product type as storable now select the unit as gram once this is done uh, let's say we'll update the cost to 6000 or let's say 5000 is better After that, uh, select the brand as global text. I am skipping category as of now. We can definitely give the category to the product. Uh, let's give the internal reference number. It's very important. And now, let's uh, give the attributes. I will give color. Okay. Let's say black, white, black and pink. Okay, don't forget to select the instance from Salah information page click on save once this is done we'll give the dollar reference number to all the variants that we have created so let's say 
we'll give this we'll copy the same and then just add few initials and also update the cost to 5200 okay let's say 5000 only in the next one update until the reference as well as the cost we'll give 5500 to it and the last one same update until the reference number to pk and update the cost to let's say 6000 after this we will give the quantity to each and every variance okay let's get back to the product template go to one hand and click on new select the product and give the counted quantity as 500 do the same for the rest of them for pink let's say 600 and now for the last one that is white let's say 800 and then click on apply all and then click on apply okay now we have created the product over here the last step is just to click on export product okay one more thing uh, give the sales price as, as it is not an important thing over here you can see this product has been exported uh, to Salla just search for the product and then you, here you can see the product let's switch the language to English and you can also see the you know variants it's also been exported you can see their uh, Interlay reference number as well as the quantity. So we have also created scheduler so that you can uh, do import and export automatically. Here you just have to click on the toggle button and select the configuration you like and then click on save. Once this is done, the scheduler will work and will uh, import the customers automatically. Here uh, you can go to instance and see one more thing that is uh, the last page inputted details. That's it for the video. You can check the description box for the detailed steps and the updated documentation link. Thank you so much for watching. Can you subscribe to our YouTube channel? Press the bell icon for further updates and do let us know in the comment sections if you have any queries.